In continuation to last video, this video will cover following concepts on topic reflection of light, laws of reflection, calculating angle of incidence and angle of reflection, estimating and counting multiple images formation. As a recap, in the last video, we learnt about reflection of light and what are incident, reflected rays and normal. I observed that when incident ray hits on a mirror, it always reflects back from the point of incidence. I was wondering, is there any correlation between angles formed by incident and reflected rays with the normal? Let's perform one activity. To start with, take a printout of a protector on a A4 size paper. You will easily find this image on the internet. Paste it on a cardboard or a foam board sheet and mark this as point P. A normal is perpendicular to the mirror and is passing through the point P. Now look at this line from point P such that it makes an angle of 45 degree with the normal. This line is referred as line PR. We will place the mirror on the line AB. We will fix two pins vertically on the line PR. Let us observe in the mirror now. What I can see is that there are two objects and there are two images here. I will keep my eyes in such a way that the images of the two pins are in a straight line. We will fix the third pin in such a way that it is in the same line of image with other two pins. One more pin will fix in the same line with these three pins. Line showing P1 and P2 indicates incident ray and line showing P3 and P4 indicates reflected ray here. We can clearly see that angle of incidence is equal to 45 degree and angle of reflection is also 45 degree. Thus, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Another way of expressing this law is by taking a hard card sheet or a foam board, pasting a printed protector on it and using this setup to measure angle of incidence and reflection of a laser beam off of a mirror. For details of this setup, visit this link. When the incident beam goes away from this central line, the reflected beam also goes away. An angle of incidence is 30 degrees. What angle is the reflected ray forming with the reference line? I can see that it is also 30 degrees. What will happen if we incident the laser at different point making an angle of 60 degrees with the reference line? whether angle of reflection will also be 60 degrees or not. Guess what? The reflected ray is making the same angle of 60 degrees with the normal. Even if I change the point of incidence, I can see that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. To understand why we have used a scattering agent, you should see our previous video. Even if I change the point of incidence, I can see that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. From this, we can deduce that angle of in incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection, no matter what the angle of incidence is and where the point of incidence is. Have you noticed in beauty salons and changing rooms that mirrors on opposite walls show us infinite number of images and the room looks bigger than it is? I wonder how this must be happening. This setup contains two mirrors attached with a hinge and a toy is placed between the mirrors. What will happen if I reduce the angle between these two mirrors? I am able to see more than one image of the toy. Let's count the number of images. So there are two images. What if I reduce the angle between the mirrors more? I am able to see four images. I can see that as I am decreasing the angle between the mirrors, the number of images is increasing. 
It makes me wonder what will happen if both the mirrors are completely parallel to each other. So when the mirrors are parallel to each other, infinite number of toy images are observed here. Take a look at this infinity well. On the back side there is a mirror and in the front there is a semi-transparent mirror. This is just so that we can see what is happening inside. When we switch on the light placed between these mirrors, the box suddenly looks bigger on the inside but smaller on the outside. Do you want to try and make your own infinity well? To summarize, in this series of video on reflection of light, we learnt about reflection of light, incident ray, reflected ray and normal, calculating angle of incidence and angle of reflection, law of reflection, estimating and calculating multiple image formation. We will end this video with an interesting application of reflection of light. The word ambulance is written laterally inverted on vehicle's front. But when we look in the rear view mirror, it appears like this. By now, you must be already knowing how these inverted letters appear precise on the mirror. For more such fun activities on reflection of light, visit the link given below. Thank you for watching.